Hello YouTube, how you guys doing today? Today we got another great book for you. It's called Clean, Ending America's Greatest Tragedy and Overcoming Addiction. So this book is all about getting off drugs, right? I have suffered from drug addiction for most of my adult life. Um, I started smoking marijuana at 18 and doing Adderall, um, and I, I haven't been prescribed Adderall. And it was, you know, the most life-changing, you know, it drove my life into the tanks. Like, it ruined my life, and I'm still struggling with addiction. So, this book is about uh, what addiction is, why it happens, and how to go about treating it. So, check it out if you're interested, and let's get started. So, my uh, channel, my YouTube channel, focuses on three areas of every book. First, we go into the core concept. Then, we talk about the theory, which supports the core concept. And finally, we get into three action steps that you can take in order to, um, you know, stay clean, get clean. So let's get clean, guys. So the core concept of this book is addictions can be transformed. Whether you're addicted to heroin, meth, or just you're addicted to sugar and alcohol, you know, these addictions can be transformed. You can put them into remission. You can control them. You can do, you have power, essentially, is, is the core concept of that book. Uh, you can transform your bad habits and your addictions. They can be changed. So let's go into the theory. So if you've seen some of my earlier videos, we talk about how habits form. There's a cue, like the sight of marijuana. There's the routine, smoking marijuana. And then there's the reward, that dopamine rush that you get. And that, in turn strengthens the cue and, and the cycle continues. And that's how habits form. They just reinforce each other. Every time you do it, the neural pathways are getting larger and stronger and you're getting more and more addicted. So that's what habits do. They are unconscious routines that we fall into. And drugs are probably the most powerful habits that are out there. So uh, that's generally very simply how addiction forms. It starts the dopamine, right? Dopamine's, dopamine is our reward center. Normally, it's for things that promote survival like food and sex, right? Like normally those things get your dopamine firing so that you feel pleasure, so that you go and repeat the behavior because it is beneficial to your survival, right? Normally. But drugs hack that system, right? They they put an artificial stimulus into that system that totally throws it out of whack. So um, drugs start the dopamine flowing, the dope, the dopamine. Drugs start the dopamine flowing, and that is your go system, right? You form a habit, it's go, 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 go. You're going to keep repeating, doing that drug over and over again because the habit is a habit. It's... For, it's firing the go system, the dopamine system. And there's another system that is required when you want to transform and change your habits or change your addiction. And that is stop system. The prefrontal cortex, the most recently evolved aspect of the human brain, is what allows you to reflect, consider the consequences, and most importantly, stop the, inhibit the impulses of drug addiction so you go from habits form to go and eventually if you want to turn it around you've got to say stop to the habits right you've got to master those impulses so normally when you're in the go in in drug addiction i can tell you from personal experience your behavioral repertoire narrows which means normally like you'd be as a normal person before drug addiction you're interested in piano and writing and and all kinds of things, but once drug addiction starts taking over, all of those behaviors are cut out, and the only behavior becomes, how can I get my next fix? So that's what happens uh, with drug addiction. And drug addiction influences your brain, your B, brain. B stands for brain, which influences your P, your thinking, which influences the next B, your behavior. So brain influences thinking, which influences behavior. 
So you're throwing your neurochemicals out of whack, right? So that's going to influence the way you think, influence your self-awareness, and that in turn will alter your behavior. So that's uh, the theory and the core concept that I want to talk about. Um, now let's just get into some simple action steps that are essential if you want to make sure that you, if you haven't started drugs, make sure that you don't get into drugs. And if you have started drugs, this, these, these simple practices, exercise, sleep, planning, and emotional intelligence will help you stay sober. They, these are supporting factors. So exercise, right? That's the first action step that you can take. There have been uh, studies that, that examine teenagers and those that exercise daily are 40% less likely to indulge in drugs in the first place. And of those who do do drugs, if they exercise regularly, they are twice as likely to stay in remission and stay in treatment. So that's the first point. Sleep. What they have found is that sleep deprived kids are more likely to engage in drugs. Other experiments have found that people who are lacking sleep are more likely to cheat. They're more likely to do all kinds of impulsive things because they have no control over themselves. Self-control. Uh, the third step is plan. So if you are you know, in drug, drug addiction and you're trying to get out, make sure you play the scenarios out in your head. Make sure you think about, you know, you're trying to activate your prefrontal cortex, right? The stop system of the brain. You're trying to activate that. So plan, right? Think about the next time you're in a situation that drug use comes into being, right? Imagine that and actively imagine yourself saying no. This is creative visualization. Imagine yourself coming up with plans, right? In order to get out of drug use. And the first, the final uh, ingredient that is connected to planning is emotional intelligence, emotional quotient, EQ. They have found that just naming the emotions in your head and becoming more intelligent about your depression, if you have that, your schizophrenia, if you have that, I have both of those, right? I have a dual diagnosis disorder, which means that, yes, I have addiction issues, but they're fed by my deeper issues, which is my psychosis and my uh, um, depression, which I, I basically treated up at this point. Um, I no longer have those symptoms to the degree that I used to. So uh, emotional intelligence, understanding yourself, understanding your emotions. So that's the basis of the book Clean. Uh, addictions can be transformed. The theory habit formation starts the go system and you have to employ the stop system, which is the prefrontal cortex. Exercise, sleep, plan ahead, and work on your emotional intelligence. So that's the short and dirty version of Clean, Ending America's Greatest Tragedy. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a good day.